You know, I, I prepared by watching a lot of tape. Uh, I talked to the coaches. I talked to the fighters. I'm still doing that to find out what did they do differently for this training camp, you know, uh, versus normal training camps. Um, you know, in the expectations, I think this is a card where there were a lot of injuries. And so a lot of times the, the fight cards that people don't talk about that much, they sometimes have the best fights. Because you, what you have is you have a main card full of guys that want to prove themselves. There's not a, a ton of fighters on here that have been on the main card on pay-per-view a bunch before who have been in main events. These are guys who need to prove themselves. You've got Leota Machida coming off a fight where he's mad about what took place in his fight against Dan Henderson. He's mad that Daniel Cormier uh, is asking to skip the line at light heavyweight and fight for a title shot. He's mad that he hasn't been granted a rematch with John Jones yet, so he's out to prove something. You've got Phil Davis, who's a guy who, who has beat everybody he's fought except for one man. He lost to Rashad Evans, and that was also the one top flight, top five fighter he's ever faced. He gets his second chance now to beat a former champion. This is very important in Phil Davis's career if he wants to be champion one day to come out with a win against Leota Machida. You know, now moving on to the main event, you know, I dare you to argue with me that the most exciting fighter in the UFC is in Chang Sung Jung. The Korean Zombie is the most exciting fighter in the UFC. He got fight of the year in 2010, he got fight of the year in 2012, and he got submission of the year in 2011. Nobody boasts that kind of resume. Nobody else has two times fight of the year. He's the most exciting fighter. And then you got Jose Aldo, who's pound for pound one of the very best fighters on the planet. Jose Aldo may be one of the very best athletes in all of the UFC. He's done some things technically and athletically that are incredible. Uh, and, and he is not the type of guy that you want to go and stand in the pocket and trade punches with. But I think that's what the Korean Zombie is going to do. And that's going to make for a very entertaining fight. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this fight card. Just the, the, just the co-main event and the main event right there are just, I mean, you got the whole card, but those two right there just pump me up because one obviously fills on my team. So I, I've watched him train for this fight. I know everything, I've watched every step of training for him to be here. It's going to be really cool to see things unfold. And this is just another pivotal step for Phil in his career. I mean, he's only, what, 9-1 or something? I don't know his exact record, but it's he's brand new to this sport. I mean, the guy came out of college, and he's just killing it in the UFC. So in any way you look at it, this benefits Phil. This matchup benefits Phil. And he's got a long time in the sport. And I think that he's going to do outstanding and be able to take down Machida and cause a ton of problems for him. And I'm taking Phil in that fight. Um, we're talking about the main event, Jose Aldo and Korean Zombie. I think the low kick alone has given everybody problems with, all, uh, with, with Aldo, you know? His low kick just comes off so quickly. He's, he's got an extremely good timing on it. It's not just that it's fast. It's that he times it right when you're either stepping or moving a certain way because he has a good feel for that. So he'll take your leg out. Besides that, he's got good power in his punches, fundamental striking, very similar to Burrell. Those guys, I mean, the way their striking looks is pretty much right on the money with teammates. They're uh, very similar. So I think the fluidity of, of Aldo in the first round mixed with the power is going to cause a lot of problems for the zombie. And it comes down to if he can weather that storm in the first two to three rounds to try to wear down Aldo and get, get some takedowns mixed in there, create a, a grappling grind for Aldo would be in his favor. And he could possibly win that against Aldo. But judging with all the tools that are set in front of uh, each guy, I got to take Aldo in this fight.